If this is the move part that people are putting in the rigs and they have issues with, I 100% agree. I will not be putting this in my truck. What's up guys? So I'm making a follow on video to the video I made earlier today, posting it tomorrow Sunday. Let's start with the basics, I guess. So as you guys know, we've been doing this for a while. We've built a bunch of different vehicles. We've worked on a bunch of vehicles. So we have some background. We're not just starting from scratch. So I mentioned that I picked up some Moog parts for the uh, third gen Forerunner. These are actually the Moog lower ball joints. And what's really funny is, you know, I've done a lot of research as I do with all these builds. And I know the feedback I've seen on basically using any other ball joint besides OEM. We have a lot of, I don't want to say it's purists, but purists who just feel like you pretty much have to use OEM parts for everything. And to an extent, I am completely on the same page with that. Absolutely. As far as ball joints go, right. what's funny is in other communities, Moog is considered one of the higher end ones compared to like your, your standard advanced parts, your main China parts and stuff like that. So in the past, I've used these without any problem, haven't had any issues, BMWs, Toyotas, Jeeps, Fords, etc. So haven't had any issues. So it's really interesting when it comes down to the lower ball joints on the Toyotas, on, the, on these four runners. Now again, I'm not ignorant to this stuff. I know the weak point of the lower ball joint. I understand how it works. I know how detrimental it can be when that goes wrong. So knowing all that, I, I take that all into consideration to make sure that I am making the right choice in the right part. Again, I made a video on three reasons why I picked these up specifically. So let's take a look at this real quick because this is one I specifically wanted to do follow on. Cause I only had one of these um, originally when I made the video yesterday. Now I have three waiting on the last tie rod. So I want to do this. Let me move up a little bit more because I want to make sure we can see this. So first things first, this is the tie rod end. The tie rod is actually made in the USA, which is great. I love seeing that. The rest of these parts are made in Japan, allegedly. So seeing it made in the USA, good to go. I'm not worried about tie rod end. You don't see a lot of issues with that. Plus going to the Tacoma, it makes it a bigger tie rod ball joint on that. So moving aside, I don't think I have a problem with this. I'm gonna stick with it, not worried about it. Here's where I do have a problem. Right here we have the left and right lower ball joint that showed up. These are both Moog products. They came in the Moog boxes. And again, I know people have their opinions on that. However, if you're gonna research it to its full extent, there are some Moog products and some other products which have the 555 label on it. And those are essentially supposed to be rebranded OEM parts. And I agree with that, and here's why. So let's take a look. This right here is the right side lower ball joint. Let's take a quick look at it. Immediately, you can see silver in color. And this has the 555 markings. I don't know if you can see that. The 3.5 made in Japan markings right here on this bottom seal and it is greasable. This right here looks stout. It looks very similar to OEM, if not the exact same. And again, I've been told on multiple occasions that the 5.5.5 is actually a rebranded OEM part. And this, and I'll show you why I even more so think that this is OEM compared to standard stuff. So here we go, looks good. Everything on it looks right, no issues. Like I said, made in Japan, 555 markings, good to go. Here's where I have an issue. What's up, Moose? Your bolts, silver bolts, these look good, they have good markings on them, good to go. I'm happy with this. However, this one right here, red flags all over the place. If this is the move part that people are putting in the rigs and they have issues with, I 100% agree I will not be putting this in my truck at all. This, I'm totally confident with it. I feel even better at putting it in the truck after seeing this one. Um, and here's why. Let's take a look at this one. This right here, let's scoot up a little bit more for you guys. This left ball joint looks like it was made in China. I'm, I'm just gonna say it just like that. I, I really think this, uh, I'm extremely disappointed in this. And I'm gonna explain why, and I'm gonna show you why I think that this one right here is the main reason people are having issues with Moog products, not this one. And okay, let me show you. I will be returning this one. 
I'm not putting this in my truck. So for those who say don't put Moose products in your vehicle, I think this one is specifically what they're referring to and the issue. First things first, bolts are black. Not that that's an issue. I don't really care about that. However, I'm not gonna take these out because I'm returning them. But look at this. You got a you got a head cap, an integrated washer, silver with markings. Looks like a good bolt. These right here, black, standard, no integrated washer, just like some standard cheap bolts. And I'm sure these are the ones that people are saying are breaking. These look good to go. They're even, I believe, uh, zinc coated. First things first. Something's wrong when you start there. Second thing. This right here. The coating's wrong. It's it doesn't match the other one. It's lighter weight. It's not. I mean, the weight itself. Huge difference. This one feels heavier duty. This one does not. Now let's take a look at some other things. This bottom cap looks like a standard made in China. Look at that. Heavy duty, the coating's better, everything just looks more, just looks better in general. It just looks more stout. This one, no, it just looks like some piece of crap cap. Let's move on to the ball joint itself. This one has a different coating on it, and like if you look at it, it just looks, this just looks wrong. I like I said, more red flags. The cover looks like shit compared to this. This one's better. And then the biggest thing, on top of everything else, the biggest red flag, is not even just decoding and everything, but the way it's cast, it's just wrong. Look at, look at this one, this is your 555, and look at this. Do you guys not see that difference? That's a big difference. You can't deny that right there is way more hefty on this one than it is on this one. These are both supposed to be moved. This just looks wrong. It doesn't look right. It's not near as hefty. And you can only think that the whole part itself is way more, it's just in general, better on the 555 part. So if people are putting this right here in their rig, I can absolutely agree why they have issues. I, I think this one even looks bigger. I'm gonna go to actually just the part store, anywhere I can find a moved part, and see if I can find this side in this 555 setup. Because this is what I would assume to be OEM, this is the way the part should look, and this right here just looks like a piece of junk made in China, and again, I will not be putting this in my truck. Not at all. I'm not gonna trust my, my vehicle with this piece, this one, yes, again, I, I believe it has all the right castings, it has the markings, heavier duty, weight-wise, I, I should have a scale, because I can tell you right now it's heavier, and it's just, just the castings everywhere. I mean, look at the, look at the top us, upper castings. I mean, it's just, this is just more stout in every aspect, and I got, I hope you guys can see this a little bit better, because it's extremely obvious on my end. So if you guys are putting move parts that look like this into your 4Runner, then I understand completely why they have a bad reputation and I will not be doing it. Maybe this will work. Maybe for the right person it will work, but I'm not going to risk it and I don't think you should either. So again, just my opinion, but I mean just everything. They didn't even put the nozzle on this one. The grease joint. I mean, this just... I really think this was made in China, guys. I don't think this was, I don't know what flip happened here, but this isn't right. I mean, how are you gonna compare these two and say that they're the exact same thing? You can't. Look at look at the, diff I mean, look at all the differences. It's extremely obvious. <laughs> so, is it thinner too? I don't know if it's thinner. Maybe that's my eyes playing with me, but it just looks thinner. I think it is though. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to it. I'm gonna try and find another one of these to put on this end. And I agree with you. Don't buy this. If you're buying these Moog products, products and you've had issues, I might even call Moog and figure out what the flip's going on, why it's in two different parts. 
So again, I'm going to go try and find a parts store, see if I can find boxes that have the correct one in there, or at least the upgraded one, and, um, and see if maybe they're just doing half and half or what's going on. But I hope I can find another one that looks just like this, because this looks right, feels right. This, I don't know what the flip this is. Thanks again for watching. Hope that helps anybody out there who's, who's looking for parts, who's interested. I mean, you can tell the metal is different just by the coloring. Again, I know I keep talking about it, but it's not the same. This is this is a better product. This, I don't know what the flip happened here. This one even came with a, everything that says made in Japan. Everything about this says made in Japan. This, nothing. Nothing about this says Moog. It says nothing about being made in Japan, except for the box. Everything else screams made in China, guys. Red flag. I'm okay with this one. Again, I digress a little bit, but just more facts. I'm just saying, is what it is. All right, last thing real quick, I do want to mention is the ball joint itself on the 555 one. It's not easy to move, but it moves smoothly, if that makes sense, especially compared to the black one. The black one, it's like binded in. It like, it jerks around. Obviously they both need to be greased, but the black one, it obviously feels like it's not gonna move correctly. Anyways, hope to see you guys on trail. I'll let you guys at it. You guys can argue in the comments now. Thanks again.